Wonderful, wonderful. So um, with rates this low, rates are like at all time low. The ten year bonds low, low, low. Like mm -hmm. what? What do you think? How how do you think it's affecting you know um, the market space? In terms of just like buying power or or yeah, just people power. going out there, yeah, I, I, it's crazy because I see you know under a million dollars, everyone, almost everyone and anyone will be throwing in an offer, right? <laughs> if it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, then they just keep throwing offers out there. Um, I was just, I, I I've seen a house where we bid on with my clients, and they, you know, the agents are putting deadlines now for offers and it's creating this feeding frenzy where so you know smart. we work work yeah we're <laughs> i hate it but it is what it is um <laughs> but but we're going up against you know 30 plus offers right just because interest rates are just so low everyone wants to buy a house right now and uh it's it's super super competitive right now yeah not only interest rates all time low i feel like i feel like um mortgage insurance rate is also all time low mm -hmm. dude like i have so like i always ask my clients who are putting 10 percent, 15 percent down like what do you think the mortgage insurance is right on a four or five hundred thousand dollar house and I'm like mm -hmm. oh it's like 300 bucks i'm like i wish i can keep the difference but it's more like 130 <laughs> 111 dollars it's it's so low, especially when you have a good credit score. So right. So right now, I feel like right now is such a great time to buy. Not just like you, you're gonna gain so much equity just because you have a low interest rate. Your payments gonna go a lot, a, a lot, a lot, a big chunk of your payments gonna go to to your principal, and uh, it's just creating more and more value. Yeah, definitely. But it's crazy, you know, all these all these deals and and again, so I kind of want to go back to what I learned in, you know, during this pandemic is urgency, right? So yes, we are competing against, you know, 30 plus offers, but at the same time, I'm having success, you know, trying to get these people and and beating these offers. I know. Yeah, I know. I know urgency. Sometimes I get an email or text message or a phone call from Wayne. Hey, I need a pre-approval letter. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday morning at 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Offers due by 9 a.m. <laughs> but I thank you. Thank you for helping me through that. It, it, it's 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 a it's a big relief to my clients, and they love you for that. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Well, thank you. So because of that, because I value sleep, I we invested in a program where where now you can print your own pre-approval letter. <laughs> as long as we uh, we pre-approve them and we can turn on a button so you can print your own pre-approval letter nights and weekends, whenever you want, whenever I think that was <laughs> I think that was created just for me. <laughs> I think so. I think so. <laughs> Gosh. Um, so Benson, I wanted to ask you a question, and I hope you can kind of clear this, clarify this for everyone else. Um, what's the difference between a pre-approval, pre-approval letter, and a DU? Because a lot of people don't know what a DU is, but it, it's really kind of helped me in, in my business and and helped my buyers, uh, you know, get get the homes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's DU is such a big thing. Everyone talks about DU. <laughs> For those who are not in the industry, uh, DU is called desktop underwriting. And basically, it's a program. We put in the loan application. Uh, it'll have your details in there, your credit score, your credit profile. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, I don't I don't want my credit report to be pulled well it has everything in there that we need anyway so we put in all that information and it goes into this underwriting software the software has years of data of who who's going to pay the mortgage who's not going to pay the mortgage and and spit out either you're going to be approved eligible or you're going to be not approved not eligible so 
you know, sometimes we're surprised that some people who are putting in less down payment and have a slightly lower FICO score, their debt to income ratio just need to be a little bit lower than what a higher credit score and more down payment individual would need. So I think that DU approval is very, very important for like, we don't want surprises. You, we don't want like, oh yeah, I've done this many times before they're going to get approved. Well, DU changes almost every month. You know, their risk so, profile, depending on the market, they change every single month. So does that DU pretty much guarantee that the buyer is going to get the loan? Yes, actually, if if what goes in comes out, right? <laughs> <laughs> crap in, crap out. So, so if your data is correct, you know, and and you follow the findings and complete the loan, yes, yes, you can get the loan. But if mm-hmm. you just inflate the the income and inflate the the reserves and it maybe it won't close because the underwriter <laughs> can be like, well, he doesn't make fifteen thousand; he makes more like five thousand. You know, so it's mm-hmm. really important to put in the right information. For yeah, because of- I had a, I had, I had a client win on a home. We weren't the highest offer, um, but the listing agent told me because you submitted that DU, the DU was gold, and and I think that's what set us apart from yeah. from all the yeah. other offers. It goes to tell the you're telling the listing agent basically like, hey, I did my homework. My buyer did their homework. They got their their pre approval, DU findings, even credit score, like all in a package. It's mm-hmm. kind of like you know when you go apply for for a job and you just give them your your resume. Maybe that's not enough. You need a cover letter. You need you know all that. And then and then your employer would be like, oh wow, you're you're serious about this job, right? The listing right. agent can be like, you're serious about buying this house. You did your stuff. Right. I, I know there are lenders, um, big box lenders that you can just go online, input how much you make, how much your credit score is estimated to be at, and you can print a pre-approval letter. Wow. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm blown. That's My fraud, bro- right? At some point. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> That's fraud at some point, right? That or is I don't very, know. very misleading. <laughs> There's no verification, no check and balances. So That's crazy. I will tell you offline who that is. <laughs> <laughs> so just look out for their pre approval letters. Um okay. now for those who want to know, you can DM me, I'll let you know who it is. <laughs> I don't want to get sued. <laughs> Good, because on my listing coming up, I'm gonna make sure to watch out for that. Yeah, watch out for that pre approval letter. But when the pre approval letter comes from Nestmade Mortgage, it's always golden. We always make mm-hmm. sure they're their income's verified, their credit's verified, and their assets are verified. We don't see, I don't want to waste my time, and I don't want to waste your time, and I don't want to waste anyone's time. You know, time, yeah, is and, and that's the biggest thing that I've learned too. You know, time is like our most valuable asset, right? So I, I do this for my clients. You know, I take the time to like get to know them and get to know their needs and wants and really kind of get into their mindset of what, what what they want, right? Not what they need or what they want to see or, you know, dream of it's, it's, so when I go and I look at for properties, like I get into their mindset and I'm only sending them stuff that, that they, they can afford, right? I'm not sending them dream homes that, that go beyond their expectations, you know, because if I do that and, you know, we go out and we go look at them and they can't afford it, then, then I'm just wasting their time. You know, and, and then they, they get so excited about these homes that they can't afford. And, and I say, well, what am I supposed to say? Uh, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sorry. This is when I come in and go, uh, you don't, you're not approved for that house. <laughs> exactly. Or hey, may, maybe this is what you need to do to shift things around and you get approved. I, but there are so many loans that, that are marginal, like, oh, almost approved, almost not approved. But, you know, this mm-hmm. is where we come in and, and make that happen for for you and your clients really yeah and save them time yeah so they can go yeah. spend it with their family and they're not spending you know five hours a, a, every weekend going looking at homes you know 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen so many people going to look at homes, and it's like, okay, show me your show me your financials. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you were looking at homes for fun <laughs> so yeah yeah i guess yeah that's that's really important to get you know pre-approved first especially through you guys right thank you, thank <laughs> you. um I, hey i know you uh you've actually done a loan with us too thank you for supporting i did and <laughs> and it was an amazing experience <laughs> to, to go through it on the other side yeah it was was it easy it was very very easy very very easy and and the best thing is you know you guys kept on top of me when i didn't get you know get get the documents fast enough to you guys you know you weren't bothering me but you were you know letting me know that you know the faster we can do this for you you can start saving more money you know no. so i yeah I, yeah <laughs> i, <laughs> I love your team and <laughs> no, I loved your team and I love I loved going through the process. So I you know, I know what my clients go through now. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah well, we we try to keep improving our system. If anything like we we spent I spent the bulk of my time into looking at little ways to make our clients experience better every day, every day, every time they apply their loan with us. Um, you know, sometimes we have growing pains, but for the most part, we're just, we're here to elevate their experience, your experience as a real estate agent working yeah. with us. And I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I think we're almost up here. Do we, should we take some questions? Do we have any questions from our, our audience? If there are. If not, I think we can probably wrap it up. Um, Wayne, uh, we'll post your information. We'll post the, the replay here and post your information. So if anyone wants to get your contact, we'll post it up. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> thank you, Benson. And thank you to the whole Nestmade team. How about that? Hey, we all thank you. <laughs> all right, man. All right, Talk Benson. You. Thank you so much. Thanks thank for having you. me. Bye. Bye.